Hello and welcome. In this demo tutorial, we're going to look at how you can implement a process workflow in OTRS Community Edition. Now, for those who have not used the Process Management module, OTRS Community Edition has a nice feature where it's possible for you to implement workflows which are commonly found in ITIL practices. Now, based on experience, you may recall that ITIL typically has different types of workflows. One example would be provisioning of hardware and software, which is a workflow. There could be security process-based workflows. You will find workflows inside an IT ticket lifecycle. And you will also find workflows inside change management processes at your organization. Along with that, you will also see that there is a need for handling approvals. So many times a task or a ticket would need approval from a supervisor or manager. On top of it, you may need multiple levels of approval if the workflow is complex. The good news there is that OTRS Community Edition can handle complex workflows. So I'm showing a sample workflow, which we will do a demo for. The requester is asking for a new server. This goes to the IT help desk. The IT help desk technician does an initial evaluation. Does this ticket need approval or not? If it does not need any approval, it goes directly to the hardware team, who then start working on server allocation and configuration. If there is a need for approval, then the IT help desk technician would send this ticket on to an approving manager who would approve the request. Once the request is approved, then it goes to the hardware team for further allocation and configuration. So this is a fairly simple process which we are going to implement using OTRS Community Edition. Now, during this demo, what we have done is we have already prepared the design and configuration for this particular workflow. There are multiple steps involved. So there is a concept of activity, activity dialogue, transition, and transition actions. The technical details of this implementation are not covered here in the interest of time. So I'm just going to go directly to show you the demo inside of OTRS. So let me pick the software. What I'm showing you now is your OTRS tool. So I'm going to go and create a new process ticket. I'm showing a slightly custom version of OTRS Community Edition, but the concept remains the same. Let me create a new ticket, which is a process ticket, and I'm going to ask for a server. So this is called a server request. Here are some basic form details which need to be filled. So how many number of CPUs? Four, four gigabytes of RAM, and 200 gigabytes is the storage, which I want on this server. And I'm going to choose Cent OS 7 as the operating system. And I'm going to say, I need new server for CRM. So this is the initial requester who is making a new request. And let me submit this to create a new ticket request. I'm showing you the admin version of the OTRS portal for the sake of brevity and shortness of the demo. So the ticket is going to go to an IT support help desk. That's what I'm seeing here. And here there is a small activity dialog which says approval is needed. So I'm going to pretend that I am the support help desk and I'm going to click on this. And here it says approval required, yes, and let me submit that. So an example where there is a need for approval and there is a fairly simple request, so there's only one level of approval which is called as level one approval. So what has happened now, the ticket has moved to level one approval and the state of the ticket is called awaiting approval. So this is waiting for approval and the activity itself is in a place which is manager approval. At this point in time, the manager is going to get a ticket notification. The manager is able to log in. He comes back to the same screen, which I'm showing you right now, manager approval level one. He's going to click on this link, which is called level one approval. And he's going to fill in saying, I am approving this. Saying approved, 
go ahead please and submits this form. So once the approval is received, you can see that the information is captured here as approved. And what has happened now is the state has moved to in progress. The queue has changed to hardware queue, which means now the ticket has been routed to the hardware team and the responsible person has also changed. Currently, the activity says we are waiting for hardware configuration to be done. At this point, there's going to be a second email notification which is sent to the hardware team, and then they are supposed to work on this hardware configuration and close the configuration part of it. So here, the hardware team is going to finish their server configuration, and then click on this, and say that the hardware is ready. So once the hardware is ready, they submit this comment, and the hardware is done. So now it moves back to the status which is called process closed. At this point, the ticket is routed back to the initial requester of the IT help desk. They are able to see that the process is complete and the state of the ticket is completely closed successful. So this is the end of our demo. And what I'm showing is just a quick short summary on how the OTRS process management module can be used to configure some of the workflows that you might have in your organization. Thank you for your time.